Hey guys, so this is gonna be an overall video of the 2022 Daytona Turkey Rod Run at the Speedway. And I left Ocala kinda of early, 6 a.m. and I got there bright and early and parked by gate 70, which is right off of Williamson Boulevard, I believe it's called. Anyway, uh, you enter directly into the swap meet area. And I'm gonna guess here there was maybe 100, 150 vendors, all kinds of stuff as you can see. Old signs, new signs, old parts, new parts, you name it. And I even found a couple of uh, vendors selling some Corvette stuff. And uh, you'll see one of those uh, videos a little later. Uh, I bought a few parts from him, of course. But anyway, I just wanted you guys to have an overall kind of like a day in the life sort of, sort of video of um, visiting the uh, Turkey Rod Run. This, of course, is the spring event. And uh, this vendor here, he was selling some cool uh, laser, not laser, uh, plasma cut um, license products. So check it out. Got several Corvette emblems and stuff. Check this one out. It is pretty big, and this one is 40 bucks. So again, this is the uh, their business card, Speed Belt officially licensed, and they have a website, and of course, there's an email address there. So 300 for the pair? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I was tempted, but I did not buy the seats. I think the, the foam was still questionable. Earrings, anyone? This is the car corral, of course. Again, maybe a couple thousand vehicles, and I'm sure more uh, arrived for Saturday and Sunday's uh, show. All kinds of all kinds of vehicles there. This one is, uh, of course, very interesting. I don't judge me, but I like Bricklands. <laughs> I think they they're cool. And uh, this is just an odd-looking little car, but um, pretty cool nonetheless. fans, Ghostbusters, here you go. This is one of those, what are they called, hidden this or something like that? Those old motors. This one was being used for uh, churning some ice cream. And this one was a very cool car, one of my favorites there. 69 Chevelle Yenko but no it, it is not the real thing still a very beautifully done uh, clone and uh, I spoke with the with the owner yeah, cool. yeah, thank you very much. I'm glad you guys like I'm glad to see younger guys 
I got an AMC job when I'm selling my camera right now. Right. You, just, you, know, you just can't appreciate the older cars like you're the newer cars. So it's a clone, huh? Yes, it's a real one. They only made 99 of them, and there's only supposedly 44 in existence. Get, get one right now, one of these. If you can find one, there's probably going to be a million dollars because nobody's ever put one up for sale. They're getting 365 for the Camaros, 69 Camaro Yankees. So this would be a million dollar car because nobody puts them out there. So it's a clone. How much do you think it's, it's worth? This one's about 60,000. Very well done. Thank you. I try to make it as accurate as possible. Yeah. Even the gauges I made, like they have different size gauges, and I made sure I put the big two and five eighths gauges in it because that's what he ran in them. Clecos, that reminds me of my days of building experimental aircraft. This guy was selling a lot of original dealer literature and I actually bought a, a few a few items from him. Uh, unfortunately he didn't have any more of the uh, 76 uh, assembly manuals. He only wanted ten dollars for the, for the manual with the binder. This book also he wanted ten dollars for it. Everything was very reasonably priced. I have one. One that is very similar. This guy here was selling some very interesting and original metal sculptures. And this was the guy selling used Corvette parts. He had a good selection, uh, something for everyone. As you can see here, some door jams, fender uh, pieces, etc. And, and I know these, these things look horrible, but for the person who knows how to work with fiberglass, they can be repurposed. some frame parts, some hoods, doors. I mean, he had a little bit of everything. But again, these, these are all used parts.
So anyway, I wanted to share with you my day at the Speedway. I had great fun. I bought a few interesting things, some t-shirts and that sort of thing. And I hope you enjoy the video. I, again, it's just kind of like um, showing you what, um, what the Turkey Run is all about. And if you have the chance to visit Daytona for that event, I think you're going to really have a, a, a great time. You're going to love it. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and, uh, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye now.